welcome to another episode with the Grim Ripper. This is Jason, and I'll be your host tonight for What's Up Wednesday. If you like What's Up Wednesday, make sure that you hit that like button, and also get subscribed to the channel. We are uh, over 250 subscribers now, and our next stop will be 300 subscribers, so help us get there. All right, so tonight, we don't have a sponsor for this evening's opening, but we are going to rip into this box of Garbage Pail Chrome from this year, the uh, new third series. I'm not sure what year this is from. I guess 2020 is when this came out. So we're going to open this one. If you're a Garbage Pail Kids fan, welcome. And if you're not a Garbage Pail Kids fan, well, next Wednesday we might have something more to your liking. Wednesday is the day that we do things outside of baseball. I think next week we have an absolute football blaster that we're opening, so if you'd like to sponsor that one, it is currently available on the website at thegrimrippersden.com. All right, so without any further delay, let's go ahead and open this Garbage Pail Kids. And wouldn't you know it, I left my knife somewhere else. So we're going to try to tear into this thing without our handy dandy sharp knife. Which makes it difficult. There we go. Alright. At least we had a seam that was available to tear into there. There we go. Now we're set. All right, so we're going to have four cards per pack. Some focusing there. Four cards per pack. So there are six packs, well, five packs, with one bonus pack that has three exclusive atomic refractors in it. Here are the odds of what we can find in here. Looks like the best bet are parallel refractors, one in five. And then they go up from there. Printing plates are a possibility, which is cool. And artist autographs as well. So there are some things available in here. Let us see what we get. This will be my first time opening the modern day Garbage Pail Kid cards. I opened a few packs back in the old days when they were when they were first a brand new series one, two, three, and four were ones when I was a kid. So let's dig into these. Go ahead and open the atomic refractor pack first since it's see through and basically see what's in it already. We're going to start out with Beaky Becky. Gross. Getting some brains there. At least the centering on this is pretty good. There's Hurt Kurt. And we have Dashaboard. Oh, Dashboard, that's pretty good. <laughs> Getting struck by a fly there. Getting all splattered with fly goo. All right. Let the disgusting evening begin. We'll see how the how these are cut. I know the last two packs that I've seen open, the, the uh, cards were not very well centered. In fact, they were cut very poorly. So let's see how Tops did on this one. So there's Rod Wad, nicely centered. There's Cashed In Casey, that'll be a refractor right there. Nice cut on that one. Take a look at the back here. Wanted for turning down the air conditioning. Fellow co-worker, also wanted for the following crimes. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and take a look at the backs of the cards. There's some fun stuff there. There's Target Margaret. Again, that one's cut nicely. Maybe uh, we were able to get some packs that were done after they fixed their cutting mechanism at the place there. So there's Juicy Jessica being eaten by a Venus flytrap. That's always fun. All right. Pack number two. This will be a fairly quick rip tonight, as there are only four cards per pack. There we've got Curly Carla. That's like a Medusa-style character with those snakes on her head. 
There's a peeping Tom. Boy, you wouldn't want to be around that guy. He sees everything. Look at all those eyeballs. Yeah, creepy dude right there. There's Beaky Becky. We got the atomic refractor of her. Beaky Becky goes around searching for roadkill and other desert fare. And Hurt Kurt also in our regular pack here. Some kind of puzzle piece at the back. I haven't seen that before. There we've got Polished Paul. Oh boy, they're uh, chroming him right up. That uh, would not be an enjoyable experience. Sticky Rick. Decidedly inconvenient to walk around and have everything stick to you. Mr. Sticky Rick. Half Nelson. Yeah, tough guy on the... Uh, right side of the body and a little girl on the left side of the body so that he's half an Elson right there and finally bruised Lee a little Bruce Lee karate chop right there to shatter the hand bruised Lee <laughs> good stuff pack number four we'll start out with Les Vegas nice uh Elvis impersonator right there, Las Vegas. And we're going to have, oh, we've got right here, congratulations, numbered 15 out of 25, an autograph of the artist of this card, who is Tom Bunk, I think is his name. Is that right? Yep, Tom Bunk. Check that out right there. I think it's Bunk or Burke. I don't know. But that's an autograph right there, guys. How about the odds of that? We've got an artist's autograph, and the odds of an autograph, if I look at this box, artist autograph odds, 1 in 2,453. And I've got news for you, folks. This is the very, I think this is the first or second box of this I've ever opened. And we pull an autograph out of this one. That is pretty cool. Talk about good luck. Neat. Wish I could really read that last name on there. And that looks like Bunk or Burke or something. How about that, folks? We beat the odds on that one for sure. We've got to finish off this pack, Alligator and Spitting Spencer. Ooh, Spitting Spencer. Oh, he's a spittoon. That's disgusting. Spitting Spencer is a tobacco spittoon. So you, it looks like he spits into his own spittoon. That's gross. <laughs> Final pack right here. We've got Crokin' Colin, Bustin' Dustin, ugh, tied up in knots and tossed around like an old rag doll there. We've got Joe Blow, we had him earlier. This is a, I guess these are some kind of parallel, I don't know, different color anyway. And Rig, oh, Wrigley Renee, that's the same as Curly Whoever. See, I don't like that, how they have like the same picture with the same, you know, just a different name. You know, they should at least come up with a un unique picture if you're gonna have Wrigley Renee, Wrigley Renee, and also Curly, whoever that other girl was, you should at least have a different picture for them. But anyway, there we go. That is our blaster box of Garbage Pail Kids. Now it's interesting that this autograph doesn't have any kind of I mean, it's numbered, but it's just a normal card otherwise, except for the autograph on there. And I think these are on-card autographs. I can't see that that's a sticker on there. I think they sign right in that little space. Well, awesome! Well, I'd like to thank everybody for dropping by and checking out the Garbage Pail Kids rip tonight. That was a fun one for me, especially since we got an autograph. So if you enjoyed that, 
Heck, hit the like button just because it was an autograph. We rarely see autographs unless we're opening entire boxes of cards or something like, you know, hobby boxes and stuff. So at any rate, everyone have a great Wednesday. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with Thursday Thunder, which is uh, sponsored by uh, Debbie O. She's going to be uh, opening up two more stacks, which will be six packs of the 2001 Topps Heritage. So join us for that. Otherwise, everyone have a great evening, and we will see everyone tomorrow.